Blue Willow quickly emerged as one of the best free AI art tools. In today's video, we're going to be checking out some different prompts to see how things have changed in these last couple of weeks. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. We're going to start with our first prompt. So to create an image in Blue Willow, here I have a private chat with the Blue Willow bot, but you can also use one of the rookie rooms in their public discord. And you're going to start by saying forward slash imagine, and then you're just going to type in your prompt. So for our first prompt, we have a 2D flat illustration of a man sitting at a computer, UI, UX, Behance, Dribble, Vector, 2D, flat illustration, minimalist, simple, and dash dash AR 3 colon 2, which all that is is setting the aspect ratio as 3 to 2. So we've got our results for our first prompt, and I have to say these honestly turned out really good. First of all, it loaded pretty quickly. It probably took less than 30 seconds, but you can see these are all really quite high quality flat illustration kind of style images. So I really think any of these could very easily work for a website or any type of presentation, you know, whatever concept that you can imagine using these. So, so far so good. Let's dive into another prompt. So for our next prompt, we have a scenic mountain cabin, wintertime, trees, snow, architectural photography, wood beams, rustic, cinematic photography, and once again, dash dash AR3 colon two. So here are our results for that second one. And I'm honestly really impressed. These are way more photorealistic than any of the previous versions of Blue Willow. You can see these all look really pretty high quality. Let me upscale one of these and uh, we'll take a look at it a little bit bigger. So, I mean, the detail in this is really, really impressive. And one of the things that I've noticed about this version of Blue Willow is you're really not seeing as many of the flaws and defects um, in the images as in previous versions. So definitely a, a good step up. There's still a little bit of details, like I don't know what's going on here with this like window frame. Um, so there are a few small flaws, but overall definitely a really high quality image. So for our next prompt, we're gonna try a vector logo design for a skateboard company. Skateboard, vector style, icon, colorful, Adobe Illustrator, illustration style, highly detailed. And I'm also going to add flat and 2D to this. So we have our result. These don't look terrible, but they're definitely not my favorite. You can see it does have some kind of strange things going on with the foot here and the hand here. And I think this is one area where you really see where paid tools like Mid Journey are definitely a level above Blue Willow. Let's go ahead and try one more and then we're going to compare it to some previous versions of Blue Willow and see how things have changed. So for this prompt, we have a portrait of a 30 year old baseball player, highly detailed F slash 1.4, 50 millimeter lens, detailed facial features, cinematic lighting, cinematic photography, and dash dash AR 3 colon 2. So I wanted to try something with some more photography specific terms included and see how it comes out. So let's take a look at our results. So this was what we got for our, our last prompt. And these honestly don't look too bad. Obviously the logos for the teams, you know, aren't the best because they don't exist. I would say the details of the facial features are definitely way, way ahead of where they were in previous versions of Blue Willow. So overall, really not too bad. Uh, let me upscale one of these. And I'll show you guys at a little bit of a larger size. But you can see overall the detail in this is pretty good. So I do wanna take a second to address the elephant in the room with Blue Willow. So they have gone to a paid model. You're able to generate for free up to 10 prompts per day. That's what I did to create this video. But they are now changing it to a paid model. So for more than 10 prompts a day and also access to version four, which is their newest version that I think is still in beta mode, you're gonna to have to pay for that. So that is kind of the disadvantage of Blue Willow. Unfortunately, they're moving into that model. So you can see here, $5 a month, 50 prompts a day, $10 a month, 100 prompts a day, and $20 a month, 200 prompts a day. So that is a big change that's happened with Blue Willow, and I definitely want to make sure to at least address that in this video. So now that we've tried out some new prompts and seen how they turned out, 
I want to compare things to previous version of Blue Willow and see how things have evolved over time. So I'm going to pull up some images from a previous video that I made and compare them to this most recent edition. So here is a prompt that I tried previously. The prompt was dramatic jungle temple, greenery, elaborate hanging gardens, flowing waterfalls, architectural stone, flora and fauna, sunset, majestic, detailed, cinematic photography, 4K, dash dash AR3 to 2. I'm not going to keep reading the prompts because you know you guys can see them on the screen, but this was the prompt here and the my favorite image out of it was this one here, which is, doesn't look super detailed. The quality of images has definitely gone up quite a bit and they say that in this new paid version it's going to be even greater. But let's rerun this prompt and see what we get. So we've got our result. Once again, this is the before image and this is after. You can tell that the quality is way, way better. I really like these results, so let me upscale one of these and we'll take a look at it. So here's how it looks upscaled. And this looks really good. This honestly is on par with the quality of Mid Journey probably from one or two versions ago, but these results look really, really nice. And you know, there's not really any obvious detail flaws in it. So these turned out really good. So let's go ahead and try one more out. And you know, I just wanna show you guys how much it has improved just since a few weeks ago when I made my previous video. So here's another image from the previous version. You can see there's a lot of facial features here that just don't really make this image feel realistic. And this was the prompt that we used right there. So we're gonna try this one in this current edition of Blue Willow. Okay, so here's our result. And as you can see, things have really, really improved. All of these look pretty good. Let me upscale a couple just to check them out on a larger size and that's a pretty quality image definitely a lot more realistic than the previous versions there are still some flaws here with the eyes let's see how this one turned out this one's a little bit better so you know overall there's clearly a lot of improvement some of these details here with the shirt I think that's where you really see the difference between the paid tools and the free tools but I am excited to check out Blue Willow version 4 I'm considering subscribing to it. I'm not sure yet because I still use Midjourney a lot. But there's a lot of cool things to look out for with Blue Willow and I definitely don't think it's a tool to discount. Especially if you're looking for a paid plan. I made this whole video, sorry, for a free plan. I made this whole video with the free plan. So 10 images a day can still get you some pretty cool results and it doesn't count your upscales against those 10 images. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did, please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel for more awesome AI content. Thanks for watching.